met me. He, he told me I look like Gwyneth Paltrow. Long, long, long. Well, this time around, I knew I wasn't her, and, and I could never be her, and I was never thin enough, pretty enough, good enough. So I decided to change things up. I decided I was going to color my hair. I, I'd straighten my hair. I straightened my teeth. I, I bought the Wonder Bra. That wasn't doing the trick. So I soaked myself in mud. I wrapped myself in cellophane. I bought the amino acid facial creams. I even injected botulism in my face every three months. But I knew all those things were only temporary. So I drank slim fast. I used that stair stepper. I ate rice cakes and wheat germ. But I wasn't thin enough. I only dropped 20 pounds. So I went to the doctor. And I got my nose slimmed, my tummy stapled, my thighs sucked. I thought about getting a rib or two removed. You know, like share. But I figured my ribs, they've got to be there for something. And hey, that's just going too far. <laughs> but then, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, what am I doing all this for in the first place? What? For men? For men to like how I look? Is this supposed to make me happy? I mean, why am I going too far when half the men out there are like rapists or oppressors? I mean, I'm more than just a plaything. This woman's got a mind, and I have spent too many years stuffing handwritten notes into my pockets or typing long hours into the night. I was slamming my hands, my fingers into that keyboard because there are too many atrocities in the world, too many injustices that I had witnessed, too many people who had wronged me, and and I had a lot of work to do. There had to be a record of what you had done. I mean, did you think your crimes would go unpunished? Yeah, I have to file many pages in your honor, you who swung your battle axe high. Yeah, I have to file many pages. And have you defiled many women? You, the man who rapes my friends? You, the man who rapes my sisters? You? The man who rapes me? Is that what makes you a strong man? Do you want to know why I do the things I do? I need to record these things. That is what kept me together. When my friends were being chipped off to war, that is what kept me together. When women were being raped and left for dead, that is what kept me together. And when no one bothered to notice this, or change this, or, or care, about this, these writings got me together. I need to record these things to remind myself that there are things to value and things to hate. I need to record these things to remind myself that there are things worth fighting for, worth dying for. I need to record these things to remind myself that I am alive. Thank you, Jim. Anybody needs hair? <laughs> I'm like walking right on the mic. This is really hot on my head. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Thank you, Janet. We're going to be in touch with everyone from today by uh, early next week, probably Tuesday at the latest. No problem with your comments. I know.